Oh, New pets. stars to the so telly. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Janice, Janice and Mike. Uh, and yeah. obviously, the Our Farm in the Dales was a, a big hit, surprise hit, yeah, really. Yeah. I don't think any of you, when you started making that, thought it was going to be so huge. Not at and all. And now this is extended to a, a, a Christmas one-off. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, yeah, it's interesting what happened. So, yeah, with Our Farm in the Dales, we used to go off during the kind of episode to either get our fleece processed or whatever and find out, you know, if we were buying sheep around the UK or wherever in the, yeah. in the highs and lows of the, of the, across the UK. But, um, yeah, and, and what happened was, when we finished filming the farm series, because we've, we've sort of come to an end with that now, we're not really going to make any more. So Are we, you not? Well, the thing is, it was... What happened, happened, and we reversioned the farm for a reason. Yeah. It was kind of, we just sort of filmed it with my friends. It was a very kind of intimate scenario, and we uh -huh. just kind of went through it, and it was, it, it's exactly what happened, and it was real, and we've, right. we've sort of done it. Okay. And what I certainly don't want to do is turn it into some kind of TV format that just becomes these kind of items oh, one enough. after another after another. So it was real what happened, and Mum and Dad, are just, it, it's so brilliant what's happened now, and, yeah. and Mum and Dad are, are so happy in the way the farm's running. So it's kind of come to a natural full stop. But what, what did come from it were these little trips that we were taking out. And as lockdown's eased and we've started to, you know, get back to normality, if you can call it that, um, we've started taking these little rural trips away and days out with my mum and dad. In the northeast. In the northeast, yeah. So we did we did Hexham races behind yeah. the scenes. We went to all the stables and all of that. And mum's fascinated with horses. That's why she loved that so much. Um, so we did Durham Cathedral and got to meet all you know the brilliant craftspeople that make Durham Cathedral what it is and all the heritage skills and all of that. Um, we did Beamish Open Air Museum as well and Bambra Castle. And um, what we've done here is we've gone to Raby Castle, which is only about 20 minutes away from the farm. Yeah. And we've driven past it so much many times growing up, but never really got to grips with what was there. And you, I mean, it is, it, you know, it's a 14th century medieval uh, it castle beautiful. and it's incredible. And then they take mum and dad there. We take the caravan with us from the farm yeah. just so that they can sit in and have a lovely time. Dad has a sleep <laughs> and then mum cooks all the food. And How, you like, I mean, Jamie, and this then. is a, a different world for them, obviously oh, yeah. being filmed yeah, and yeah. being on camera. I mean, yeah. they, they must be being recognised now. I mean, I, how I, do I, they, they do it. Well, that? it's funny, actually, because that, that carriage ride there, there was a, there was a, a group that were out enjoying the castle same time and they were like oh there's some really important people in that carriage who is it who is it and they go past and they're like it's Matt Baker's mom and dad <laughs> so that, that's kind oh, of that's what they're, so they're sweet. known now but, oh, uh, so is there um because you've been on here talking about it um that that you went back up uh, to the farm yeah it's yeah. been in your blood three yeah. generations of yeah, yeah. Uh, at the moment um mum got hurt when yeah. she was hit yeah. by a, a it was around. It wasn't was sheep, it? yeah, yeah. The hit on up for sheep. Um, yeah. So now that's all sort of fixed, and mum is okay, yeah. uh, and COVID restrictions are, are eased. You have actually, and a lot was made of you going up there. You've that you've pulled away from that now, and you're you're back into into London. You've moved away from the. Farm. Well, no, no. So we ha we have a place, and always have done, not too far away, up in the Chilton Hills, where I was always based for the one show coming in and out, where mm. we have sheep and chickens and all of that. So like a smaller version of the farm. Mm. And so yeah, the two have worked really well. Actually, you know, whenever we need to move stock backwards and forwards, we'll, we would do that. But um, when lo when Mum had her accident, straight away we were all straight back up there, mm. and lockdown being what lockdown was. And kids were remote schooling and stuff like that so it was it was perfect timing and yeah we were up there for for about a year but it is a family farm it's in the family it always has been and we've I've always kind of migrated like that and people and see you a, sitting on the sofa. family dynamic I think that's yeah. what people loved about that show so much is that things do change and people do have to adapt and suddenly yeah. you find yourself living together or not living together and Absolutely. That's, that's life but I think it? that's what worked really well about that farm series is the things we were dealing with and the complications and as your parents are getting older and yeah. you end up looking after them in the same way that they've looked after you all of your life every family deals with that in some yeah. way shape or form and we were doing it to, a, to the backdrop of a farm so it meant that people could, you know, experience escapism while we're watching it, seeing what our life was like and mum and dad. And it was very relatable with my children, mum and dad and our generation too. And you've got your own uh, production company now anyway, don't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And things are good. It's busy. We've got a lot. Actually, in the, in the Christmas Radio Times, I was just looking and we've got five programmes ah, in the run up well to done. Christmas. So. This is big circus media. And it's big circus media, yeah. So as well as the programme that's going to be on with mum and dad on Wednesday night, we've got a BBC One chat show with Sally Phillips that we're doing at the moment and Sunday morning, Reverend Richard Coles, brilliant, yeah, oh, uh, last weekend. Yeah. We've got Lem Cissé coming up and Shirley Ballas. And then on Monday right. night, behind the scenes of Waitrose and their run up to Christmas and everything that goes into their year from designing the, you know, the wrapping paper, the Christmas ad. We go to the Leckford estate to do the wine right. and, the, and the meat and everything that's there. So it's, Do you look you know, at them and think, uh, oh, I'll present that one? 
that one. Do you know, I'm, I, re I love production. That's me, you know, and that's why I've loved, you know, from the days of Blue Peter, we were yeah. just talking about children. 20 years ago, we were talking yeah. about when we Holly first and I in the Blue Peter garden a back then. A long time ago. Uh, but, that yeah, was... a, lot's, a lot's happening. So, well, you are, I mean, I mean, even more is happening than that because you also have Panto, just that small thing yes, of Panto. Yes, I've got to go, actually. I'm, yeah, I'm just whipping across to do um, a one o'clock show at Richmond Theatre, which... It's, and actually, you came, didn't you, to the Palladium I a few did. years ago? Yeah. I'm, we're doing a similar one. I'm walking a tightrope and we're clowning this pantomime. So but you're quite inside. good at I mean, I don't say quite good. You're actually really good at this. And I imagine that's why the production <laughs> company is called Big Circus Media, because where you're, it came from. you are good at this stuff. Yeah, it's where it came from, yeah. So um, back then, when we were setting it up, yeah, we were at the Palladium doing this. Yeah. We were surrounded by all these circus props. And we were like, right, what we're going to call it? And then we said, look, why not Big Circus? Because of all the different acts yeah. under, the, yeah. under the tent, it was perfect. So, um, so that was practising, I'm assuming, was it? We just watched a oh, bit of uh, footage it was of you, you going on across a the beam. Rate. Oh, yeah, yes. Thing. Yeah, to have my wellies on. Yeah, yeah. I was practising with my wellies on doing that, yeah, in the garden. So um, that really does... Yeah, it's a wire across there, and then we get it. It's a good couple of metres up, and then... Um, well, I'm not going to give the game away of whether or not I actually get across in the pantomime, but... <laughs> well, it's Goldilocks and the Three Bears, yes. and that till, is till the 31st yes. of December. At Richmond Theatre. Um, I love so do you thing. go... Will you go back for Christmas? I'm assuming, then, in that case, you've got quite a lot of performances down here. Yeah, yeah, so I'll here. be sticking down, yeah. Yeah, but I'll be feeding our sheep here. So well, Chris, I mean, Christmas <laughs> at the farm is, you know, it's not kind of like everybody kicks back for four days, is oh, it? I gosh, mean, the animals no. still no. need feeding. Well, the thing is, as well, with the systems that we put in place that people saw through the series, one of the brilliant things we've got now is this feeding tunnel. And we've, I've worked it so that all of the different fields are kind of... They, they all convene in this feeding station. So my mum can go to one place undercover, feeds all of the stock in one place, and they all come in and she can check them. God, I might do that on and my landing. Honestly, it's the really it's really good. It's really good. It's a big bowl of quality string. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All in of you heard it in. Yeah. Yeah. them in and you can see everything. You can notice if something's in trouble that's or if something's really not smart. there. That is a ge that's so genius. It's, it's just looking at it differently. Um, we started the show talking about the Christmas party that we had yesterday uh, at James, uh, James Blunt's pub. Yeah. Um, and uh, we were talking about it in one of the commercial breaks. And you said that you had quite a good story about James Blunt. Yeah, so back in the day on Blue Peter, we, went, uh, we did this thing called the Horses Holiday, where the horses from... Knightsbridge and all of that go up to Norfolk and go out onto Holcombe Beach and what have oh, you. Lovely. And uh, they have this brilliant place of, of, of show jumping and this, that, and the other. All horses just have a blowout. And James Blunt was part of the regiment when I was filming. And before he became a pop star, he was one of our Blue Peter contributors, Captain Blunt. That's and he's mad. teaching me. I mean, it's hilarious footage of me and me and James Blunt, James, Captain James Blunt filming the way. Anyway, he said, Look, I'm leaving tonight. Do you want to come to the leaving do? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, well, why not? So we went in there and we had a few drinks and he got his guitar out and he started singing. I was like, oh, this guy's You brilliant. were like, this will never work. Yeah. <laughs> I, said, oh. I said, so what's the plan from here? He's like, yeah, I'm going to go and try and get a record deal. And literally three months later, the director of that shoot rang me up and said, you'll never believe it. That's nuts. Captain Blunt's number one. <laughs> <laughs> so that that's was so it. funny. Yes, yeah, genius. Oh my God! Wow! Uh, yeah. Wow! That's a brilliant. Lovely story. to see you. Lovely to see you. Yeah. Um, and uh, see Christmas you. travels with my mum and dad is uh, on the 14th of December at nine o'clock on Morphe. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs>